anything you're doing, please let your video be on so that everybody uh, can see you, okay? So that's by the way. So today I'm going to be talking about something I'm really passionate about, which is obviously our business. Well, my topic for today is, are you a networker? That's my topic for today. Are you a networker? You already know uh, if you're in this business, if you're here for a while, you know you're supposed to have your writing materials. You're supposed to have something to jot because you may forget within the next 48 hours. But if you have something you're writing on, you're going to remember, okay? So are you a networker? I want you to go to the comments and answer the question by yourself before I go into the other part of the slide. Are you a networker? Ask yourself that question. Are you a networker? I'm, I'm waiting for your rest. You know, uh, cell meetings are usually very interactive. Okay, somebody says yes. Okay. Think properly before you answer that question. No. Okay, people are saying yes. Some people are safely not responding. By the time, um, by the time I'm done with today's meeting, we are going to know whether we are networkers or not. And we are going to know exactly what we need to do to adjust that, okay? We are going to know whether we're networkers or not and what we, what we need to do to, to uh, adjust that. So let me just go into, um, let's analyze professions. Let's define what it means. What does it mean to be a professional? Who is a professional, okay? Oh, I'm a networker, I'm a professional networker, I'm not a professional networker. Um, what does it mean? Eric Wari talks about posers, right? Are you a poser? Are you a professional? Who are you in network marketing? Who are you in network marketing? Are you a poser? Are you an amateur? Or are you a networker? And when I say networker, I'm not even talking about part-time or full-time. That's not even what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not saying, no, you have to be full-time. No, you can be, somebody can be a part-timer and they are more of a networker than somebody who is doing a full-timer, okay? So that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the activities you do, what you do. I'm going to define it. Now, who is a professional? A professional is a person that is engaged or qualified in a profession. That may seem like a very simple definition, engaged or qualified in a profession. But I highlighted two things there, engaged. Engaged is an action word. So what that means is that they are doing things. They are doing things that a professional requires or qualified in that particular profession. So in our, in our business, how do you qualify to be a networker? Once you make payments, once you have made your pay, full payment of uh, 49990 or 149970 or you have paid 259990 or you have done 499990 or you have done the megabytes of 999990 once you have made a full payment and you have attended your QSG IPO, guess what? You are already a partner. So you're already qualified in the business. So there's nothing, you don't have to write an exam, okay? Let's look at the second definition. It's a person that is engaged in specific activities as a main paid occupation rather than as a part-time, as a past-time, I mean. A person, you can see the word engaged is here again. Engaged. Engaged it means, if I say I'm engaged in eating, I'm engaged in a profession, I'm doing something. It's, it's an action word, okay? In specified activities. So it's not just I'm doing what I want to do. No, 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 no. In, a, in every profession, you are directed on what to do, how to do it, when to do it, how often you should do it and all that. As a main paid occupation rather than as a pastime. So let me just define this last line. I get time before, no be property. The fact that you were a professional networker two years ago doesn't make you a professional networker now. The fact that you were doing the business and you were actively doing prospecting, inviting one year ago, two years ago, five years ago, doesn't make you a networker now. That's why it's not, they say rather than a past time. And you see, I highlighted that one. It's not a past time. It's something you must be presently doing. So somebody can be a retired networker. Now, most professionals renew their license periodically. Most people who are in various professions, they are constantly what? Renewing their license periodically. And I'm going to tell us why they are, they are told to renew those licenses. Doctors, if you become a medical doctor today, it's not, oh, I'm a medical doctor today, I'm a medical doctor forever. No, you will be asked to renew your license 
so medical doctors in the house, please, you can confirm. They will ask to renew their life. Why? Because they need to be sure that you still know what you're doing. They need to be sure you still remember what you're taught. If they taught you that you first of all cut the skin, then you cut the, uh, what, maybe the fat, you cut the muscle before you, get, if you're doing a cesarean section now, before you get to the womb and all. They tell you to do it little by little. They need to be sure that you are not just going to just cut everything at once. You need to be doing it gradually, gradually. They need to be sure so you're not going to kill somebody. Pilots renew their license. Even if it costs you millions of naira to become a pilot and all that, after a while, they'll ask you to do what? Renew your license. So that they are sure you will not go and fly the plane and, and you've forgotten, you put it on autopilot, you've forgotten what you did and you are gone. So they are sure that the training you did five years ago is still valid. Do we understand that? They're sure. They're sure. Even lawyers, lawyers pay. My, my mom is a lawyer. Every year, every year, they have their they have a fee, they pay practicing fee. And it's practicing fee, not I am a lawyer fee. Practicing fee to show that you are practicing. Show that you're practicing. And even on, on, on their, their legal documents and all, because my mom is a lawyer, like I said, there is a particular stamp that they give you from MBA that you put you put on your documents and other animals be renewed. Nurses and midwives, they renew their licenses. Account, accountants are currently writing, reading. Engineers, even drivers, architects, thank you very much. Different professions, I cannot list all of them here. Even as a driver, even if you're a very good driver, Nigeria will tell you that after, is it two years or so, you renew your driver, is it two years or five, I think five years. After five years, you will renew your what? Your driver's license. Why? Because they need to be sure that you have, you've been driving. You still know how to drive. And no, they will not just say, hey, I know how to drive. No, 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 no. Come and test it. Come and renew it. All of us that drive here, we know that. After a while, your license is expired. And like before, I used to think, ah, does it mean that I've stopped driving? It's possible. For someone to stay for two, three years, they've not driven. When they enter a car, they, they'll forget some things. Every profession what renews their license and it has to do with activities, testing if we are still in the game. As a networker, if you are asked to renew your license, will you be able to renew it? I was a very good presenter four or five years ago. If you are asked to come and present now, will you still get results? If you are asked to invite, if, I, if, we, if one way to renew our license is basically checking your DTC. If you check your duty for this year, you've not recruited one person, your license will not be renewed. It cannot be renewed. Ambassador Mike said, no matter how bad it is, uh -uh, if this year you've not recruited five people, it's a problem. Ah, you really get hammered also. You really hammered us. You are not a manager. Even educational qualifications, jam renewal is even, is even brutal every year. Somebody writes jam this year, your child writes jam this year. They, they must renew it the following year. They want to use, they cannot use an old one. Guess what? Renewal. You write where well, after a while, they'll tell you, oh, it's no longer valid. You have to write it again so that they are sure that what you wrote before you know it again. If we have this mindset as professional network marketers, it will help us. And I still call the way I used to call. Even ATM, thank you. Even your ATM is renewed. Thank you very much, Lily. Your ATM card is renewed. After, I think, it's, is it four years or so? After, well, you renew it. What are we getting? Now, why are people meant to renew their licenses? Why? So also, even Catholic priests, they renew their license. It's normal. To ensure that your knowledge is still intact. To ensure your knowledge is still intact. To be sure that you are still in the field. You are still in the field. This is the most important one. Because there are some things that, you, that are theory, some things are practical. But if you are not in the field, you will not understand some things. There's some editing, there's some tweaks, there's some things I have done. Why? Because I am in the field. There are some corrections I've made. If you're not presenting every time, if you're not, if every week, if a whole week, two weeks, one month passes, you've not run one presentation, you will be still, you have to renew your presenting license. Why is that? <laughs> because what you used to say to prospect two years ago, if you say it to them now, you may not get results. What you used to, what you used to, used to close down people last year, this year, you try it, you may not get results. <laughs> because things are dynamic. 
But if you're not constantly practicing the profession of network marketing, if you're not constantly doing your activities, you will not know. And you're wondering why am I not getting results? The way you were sharing questionnaire in 2019, you are sharing questionnaire the same way. When most of them have already seen that questionnaire, your license needs to be renewed. To be sure that you are still in the field. To test their new knowledge. What do you know newly? What do you know now? Even thank you, international passports. And I'm asking, so ah, I'm a Nigerian, I have passport. You are telling me after every five years, the things are renewed. Does it mean I'm no longer in Nigeria? But they need to know, they need to be sure, they need to update their system to test your new knowledge, to test what you know now. To test what you know now. Very important, guys. If you are tested in network marketing based on practicals, would you pass? That's the question I have to, for you today. Go to the comments and answer me. If you are tested in network marketing based on practicals, based on the seven skills, prospecting. If I check how many contacts you had as a January when we entered into the year, and I check how many contacts you have now as at August, would there be a difference? And when I say difference, I don't mean five, six, seven, meaning maybe people, a plumber that fixed your house. I mean that have you added a lot of people to your phone list? Are you prospecting? Or is it the same prospect you had in 2019, 2020, that you are still following up up to today? You don't have any new prospects. So they, they are not picking your call anymore because you are not renewing your license. You are not prospecting. You are not renewing your prospecting license. The same people you prospected two, three, four years ago that rejected you up to today, you are still prospecting them. There's no new person. You need to renew your prospecting license because you are not in the field anymore. If you are tested, and the test is clear, open your DTC. The test is there. How many people have you recruited this year? That is the test. There is no... Chere Kambia. This year, open your DTC. How many people have you recruited this year? That is a test. That is a test to know if you are still, if your if your 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 license will be renewed. How many active partners have you created? Not that your downline is creating. Like, mm, how many? You see, let me tell you the truth. Eh? You see this new dispensation. This new dispensation it will it will it will um, expose those who are no longer in the field. Because you have to explain why you're not an active AP. You have to explain why you're not an active Kingsman, why you're not an acting emergency leader. You're an emergency leader, you cannot produce 36 codes in a month. You are not active now, you are inactive. You have to explain all these things. Who is a professional networker? Who is it? Now that you have identified that you may or may not be. <laughs> A person who is trained in the skills of network marketing. Ah, Ambassador, I'm trained, though. I'm trained. Ah, I'm trained. I, I've never missed a meeting in my life. I meet all the trainings I attend, all the personal development, all the gym run. I do everything. I agree. Fantastic. But that is just the first part. The second part is and engaging in the activities daily. How long? Engaging in the activities daily. Engaging in the activities daily. Are you engaging in the activities daily? Some people do one part and they leave the other part. Some people are engaged in the skills, being trained, but then they don't do the engaging the activities part. While some people, they do the activities. They do the activities, activities, but because they are not getting trained, they are not getting lots of results, but they are better than the people who are doing, getting trained, but they are not doing the activities. I'm going to say that again. Some people are doing the activities. They are doing massive activity, but they are not attending some meeting. They will eventually crash. I had a leader like that. As in recruiter general of the Federation of Nigeria. But she never subjected to going through trainings. She thought cell meetings were a waste of time. She thought trainings were a waste of time. All those, what am I attending training for? No, now it's wasting my time. And she can't, even though she had grown for Why? Because it is two, two, two. You must be doing the two together. Developing yourself. Developing yourself. Now, but somebody who is engaged in all the training in the world and they are not being doing the activities, it's a waste. It's a waste. 
Now, let me tell you something that we need to understand. When it comes to trainings and personal development, Ambassador Mike, Ambassador blew our mind last week. He said, he's listening to people that are not network marketers. He said we should reduce the number of that we're doing. Listen to Jim Ron, Todd Falcon, Matt Morris, people that are Jane Leach, Halton Box, people that are in the business, people that are professional network marketers. Listen to the G8 leaders online. Don't go and be listening to Grant Cordon. is fantastic, but he's not doing network marketing. If you, instead of spending 10 hours listening to Grant Cordon every week, listen to all these people every week. Guess what? Focus on people who are doing the business. And as I said, he said, don't be wasting your time. I'm reading the next rule. I'm listening to this person. I'm reading Dan Cordon's book. I'm, no. All those things are, by, they are good though. But, if you're going to do personal development at 100 percent 90 percent should be personal development in network marketing because that is your area of expertise that's your field when he said it i was like wow that's actually true because if somebody is teaching you sales we are not in the sales business we're in the network marketing business listen to those who are training on network marketing and when he said it i just said okay and you know when, when somebody is making your dream when somebody's weekly income is your is your dream monthly income eh? And they say something, you listen to them. They said, okay, boss, you are right. You are right. A professional network is a person who is trained in the skills of network marketing and engaging the activity. What are those activities? Prospecting. I've spoken about it. How many new friends have you made this month of August? This month of August, how many new friends? Today is the 14th of August already. How many new friends have you made in this month of August? How many? Every day you leave your house. Let's say you have trans, you're, you're entering transport. You enter keke, you enter bikes, you enter buses, you enter taxis. You see people every day. You've not collected one number. This is 14th of the month. You need to renew your prospecting license. What, is, what are that skill? Inviting, the skill of inviting. Inviting. Either you're doing business launches or you're doing third party invitation or you're doing direct invites or questionnaire. You are, are you inviting every this week? How many people? Okay, we just entered the week last week. How many people did you invite? How many people did you invite to see the business? I'm not talking about oh, my my code, my my downlines code. No, we're not doing that one again. No, 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 no. That's the mistake we used to make. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I didn't invite anybody, but my downlines invited. No, that's not what anybody's asking you. Your downlines are professionals, you're not a professional. It is possible for your downlines to be professional, you're not a professional. I've learned a lot this period. Though inviting business launches third party invitations that it can be direct invitations it can be questionnaires it can be social media i was teaching the sell and course the other day one of the ways one of the ways i did um if invite on on whatsapp group or there was a group i was added to and i posted i created a flyer on canva my flyer nobody just i just created it oh i think i wrote um Teaching you three ways to make an extra source of income. And I wrote a long write-up and I, I shared it to them. And I saw some of them were actually put, have, were actually creating their flyers and posting, and they were getting results. Direct invites. As a professional networker, you invite, you show people the business on the go. You don't have to wait for someone to attend presentation. If you meet somebody one-on-one, -on -one, if you're a professional networker and they know they cannot come for a presentation, they can on the go like that, you show them the business. If you're if you'll be here for a while, oh, this is not for everybody. You are a sell no? They sell and what are you playing video for people for now? What are you playing video for? You show them the business, you draw the circles, use your booklets, presentation booklets. Show them the business. Even if you must play video, let it be the shortest video, and you close down there and then answer questions, get your pen and paper, answer questions there and then. If they don't want to pay, they have questions, do a three-way call there and then. A professional networker is someone engaging the activities on the go daily. The, the point here is daily, daily, daily. I'm, also, I'm not getting results. If I what you are doing, I'll know why you're not getting results. Some of you are getting massive results. Some of you, there's no mom that will pass that you're not an active kingsman. Why? Because you are doing the activities daily. If a whole week passes, you and your team, no code generated. You, you guys were not professional networkers that month, that week. Don't be arguing with me. Don't be saying, eh, no, you will not understand. I was this. No, you were not a professional networker, period. If you were, results will come. Those who are getting results, they are professional networkers. 
One whole month passes. You personally don't generate any code. No personal recruits. Ha. Ambassador said, if you're doing the business fully, every month, at least two people should join your team from you. There's no, see, eh? the moment you stop giving excuses and stop explaining things, the better for you. The moment you accept the truth as the truth, the better for you. All things are passed away. Now, this month of August, how far? How far? Are you just waiting for codes? Ah. There was a little uh, drought in codes recently. Thank God I have my own personal codes oh, that match me five times. <laughs> but it's nothing, I don't see regret. I just go, pa, 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 gonna do my codes. Pia, 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 pia. Clean up. Clean up. That's the power of having personal recruits. If you're not a professional networker, you know what will happen? You go explain tire, no evidence. <laughs> You will be explaining. I'm not saying you don't understand. You know what happened? My downlines were sick. Oh, they were not motivated. Oh, the weather. Oh, it rained. Oh, and you know, the economic situation, the same economic situation, people are getting signups. The same rain, people are getting signups. You go explain, Taya, no evidence, no evidence. And people will be looking at you and nodding their head, but in their mind, they are saying, Oh, God, what are you saying? I got signed up. Go and do physical presentations, go and do two on one, go and do one on one, do videos, do Zoom. There's no excuse. The number three skill is what's present. Let me find, let me even number it. Let me number it for us so that there's no, uh, for the avoidance of doubts. We have the skill of prospecting. These are activities that we should be engaged in. Ambassador, I already know this. If what you know is what is not what you do, you know nothing. I'll keep on saying that. Ambassador, no, no, now these skills, we already know the seven skills now. You're always telling us seven skills. We already know the seven skills. If you know the seven skills, are you doing the seven skills? If you are doing the seven, why were you not called as an active kingsman last week? Why were you not recognized as an active kingsman last week? Why? If you know the skills. Because you know the skills, but you're not doing the skills. You're not doing the skills. Some of you are doing it. Some of you are doing it. Some of you are getting massive results because you know that every day you are engaged in this skill. Sorry, I'm just numbering it. I'll put it back to slide. I'm numbering it for, uh, for avoidance of doubt. So presenting. We have physical presentations that happen in offices. Physical meetings. We have two on one. What's two on one? Two on one is when you go and meet somebody with your downline. You and your downline go and meet maybe your downline and you help, help the person speak to them. Or you and your upline go and meet someone and speak to them. Two people talking to one person. That's two on one. One on one, you and somebody directly. As a professional, you should not be scared of one on one. Videos. We have, you should always have the, if anybody meets you, if I meet you now and you don't have the video, any of the videos on your phone, ha, ah, problem. Have it. Have the Zoom links. Have the um, YouTube link. Even if you don't have at least the YouTube link, you must have, ah, let me just go there. Bam. It's not like when you now meet a problem, you now start going ahead. What's up, Mr. Ronke's uh, Instagram, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube handle, uh, hey, Ronke, hey, let me go and check in front of the prospect. You should have it there already. Bam, click on it, show them. When last did you present? When last did you present? When last did you run a presentation? When last did you do close down? When last? There's no magic in our business. So. The people who have more results, they have more people seeing the business. And like I said, not everybody has to come physically. We have other avenues. You get results. Number four, close down. I wrote here, I said, you are not a motivational speaker. This is not a perspire to perspire to. Mm, you are not a motivational speaker, please. So when you do presentation, you must follow with close down. You must do your close down. It's not okay. We're done with this meeting. Okay, get back to whoever invited you. Get back to who? Do your close down. Die. Collect the money and move. You show somebody business one-on-one. -on -one. Do close down there. Do you have any questions? Or are you ready to get started? Okay, what did you like best from what I show you? Are you ready to get started? Let's get you started immediately. Matt Murray says, number one people reason why people don't join is because they are not asked to join. Number five is what? Yes. Yes. 
Somebody says, are you telling us that if a, if a person can't get one partner who registers under them within a month, he or she is not a professional? Yes. He or she is not a professional network marketer. That is the truth. Is it possible for a professional doctor to stay from 1st of August to the end of August? He will not see one patient. Is it possible for a professional lawyer to stay from 1st of August to the end of August? They are not working on any case. It's not, let us not see eh, when you start romanticizing failure. When you start romanticizing bad results, when you start giving excuses, that's where you will remain. Are you saying that if somebody doesn't get anybody registered in a whole month, they are not professional? Yes, they are not professional. Is it possible for a professional farmer to stay from first of the month to end of the month? Is not farming. You are a professional networker from first of the month to the end of the month. If you're showing people, see, let me tell you, we have tried it and it's working. If you're showing people the business every day, people that you are meeting every day, you meet four to five people every day, new people. Some of you meet 10 new people every day. You don't tell anyone one of, about the business. It's impossible that you are showing people the business every day. You are inviting daily. You are following up. You are presenting. You, are, you will not get signed up. It's not possible. Take me to the bank. Take me to the bank. It's not possible. Don't romanticize failure, please. It's not possible. It's not. We've tried it. It's working. It's not possible. 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 You do presentation the first day. You have 10 people that are there. Second day, 10. Third day, 10. Fourth day, 10. Uh -uh. You and your team, nobody will join. Even if they swore for you, results will come. That's the beauty of our business. But we're not doing the activities. You know why you cannot give excuses to those who are getting results? Because they know what they are doing to get that result. And they know that for you to get results, you will do it. They know that you're not doing it. One month, two months, three months, ten months, you've not become a king's man. You go explain tire now. No evidence. You go explain tire. No evidence. Throughout the month of October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, you couldn't get one. Oh. You couldn't become a king's man. I'm not saying you couldn't become a king's man. Raise five APs. Even with your old people becoming APs. No, now. There's no explanation you want to give. You've not been a professional networker. That is the only explanation. You have not been a professional. If you have been a professional networker, becoming a king's man will not be, it, it will not be a, a, a um, what's the word? It won't be a national, there's something my dad says, a national problem. It will be a national problem. You will explain, explain, we will just they look you, but we, then. getting people started right, that's number five. Getting people started right, you are in a hobby, yes. You are not, you are not part-time, you are not full-time, you, you, are, you are doing spare time, you are doing hobby mode, you are in hobby mode. Why? Because those who have become kingsmen, they know what they need to become kingsmen. So when you are trying to tell them why you're not a kingsman, they are looking at you like, oh, God, you, oh God, go and do the results. Madam, go and do, go and do the activities and you'll become, you've not done it yet. That's why you've not become. When you become, you're going to make money. It's you. Who will benefit from you having five APs? You. You will benefit more than your upline will benefit. So it is for you. Getting people started right. When somebody joins, what do you do? Validation. You validate them. Congrats, Tunde, for joining our business. Mary, I'm so proud of you. Abdul, well done. This is the best financial decision I made, and I'm so proud that you did it. Validate them. Tell them the do's and don'ts. Now that you have joined, I know you are excited, but don't go and start trying to market anybody now or come and be trained first. We'll teach you what to do. Your QSGIP is tomorrow, or send them the QSGIP video. Validation. That validation can save somebody from quitting the business. It can expand their lifespan in the business. Validation. Know that somebody will join you. are calling them. Please send me your debit alert. Send me your proof of payment. Send me your bank statement. Okay, no, I have gotten it. Thank you. No validation. No congratulations. No telling them well done. No welcoming them. No, now. No. Business launch. Business launch. You should do your business for those who just started new. They must launch their business now. Not recruiting people is bad. But Ambassador Mike said, it's worse that you are recruiting people and you are not, you are not duplicating. Ah, that one is even worse. 
that people are joining you have 30 people you've recruited nobody has done business launch none of them are ap's you go explain tire because it simply means you just recruited them and you just dumped them you just recruit them and you dump them that's what it means there's no two way about it and we don't do that in labena vida number six following up as a professional networker you should be handing objections like water you should be handing don't be scared of objections i was presenting yesterday uh, Amazon with, uh, women, and then somebody was saying, uh, what is the evidence that this is not a scam? Now, most people, most people when they hear that question, hey, they will, I didn't remove the, they will remove the person from the group. I do, I didn't remove the person, no. Aha. Uh -huh. Why? Because I am a professional networker and handling objections is part of my work. Handling objections is what is part. I will not shy away from objections. I will not run away from objections, no, because that is what I'm supposed to do. That's what I'm supposed to do. Do we understand that? Handling objections. So what did I do? I told her. I said, of course, this cannot be a scam. Number one, we are showing you, because this is Zoom, we are showing you people's pictures, their videos with their full name. So you can go and verify. If it was a scam, we'll not be showing. So number two, we are presenting this. You are seeing us live. You are seeing our faces live. You can screenshot and go and check. You can go and verify. I said, number three, we are registered with the government agents. We are registered with CAC. Our products are not that certified and all that. You can go and verify. Everything I would tell I said, go, go and verify, go and verify, go and verify. That's what I was just telling her. Do we understand that? I, I told her. So normally people will be scared. No, 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 no. So no. I think that for people to resign from their jobs to run the business full time, it means that it is co-working. This cannot be a scam. The fact that their product, products in different say products, my Ghana people have given me accent. The fact that their products in different in different places, different shops, and all that, it means that it cannot be a scam. Go and verify. Do we understand that? Why? Because handling object. Oh, I don't have the money objection. As a network marketer, you should be happy when objections come. Because see, I don't like quiet prospects. I don't like prospects. I'll just say, okay, I'll get back to you. Mm -mm. Do you have any problem? No problem. I'll get back to you. Okay. Do you have any objections? No objection. I'll get back to you. I don't like that. I like the ones that are telling you. Are you sure it's real? Are you sure I'll make it? Oh, I don't have present. I don't know how to present. I don't know how to convince. Oh, I've done it before I failed. You know why? Because those networkers, when you talk to the, those people, the future networkers, when you when they talk to you, you can give them your answer and they're more likely to join. Or like the ones that will just keep quiet, what they want to do is in their mind. I don't like those ones. But some of you are praying for people that will not stress you. The people, the prospects that stress you, once you're able to answer their questions, they are the best. They will join that energy they used to stress you. They'll use that energy to join the business. The energy I used to ask my, my leader, I used to try to work. I beg, I beg, I beg. All these things don't work. It's fake. It's a scam. I've done it. But the, that energy I used, I'm using it to run the business. A professional is handling object, objections. I'm asked, how do I handle objections? I spoke about personal developments. You don't know what to say. We have two mega trainings on follow up. Go and read it on YouTube. I did one, Ambassador. I did one. Go and check. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Is there how to handle up the objections? Handle it. Go and check Matt Morris' page on YouTube. How to handle objections? I want to talk to my spouse. It's not my thing. Whatever, whatever. I want, I want to. <laughs> some brother that say, Oh, what if I, I, I start making money first before I tell my people? Everything's on YouTube. Go and check. Finally, the, se the seventh thing is what promoting events. Cell meeting is an event. Immersion, things like that, is an event. Trainings are an event. Let me tell you why it's so important to be a professional in this region. There, there are two ways to look at it. You can say, oh, I'm right now, you know, the way the economic situation is, things are really hard for people. So therefore, ah, who would like get to join the business? It's because you lack understanding. You think that the person is coming to come and join the business so that you will make money. That's why you are saying that, oh, the economic situation, that is why I cannot get people to join. That's why they're not joining. No. You need to understand that because of the hard economic situation, that is why people need to join this business and have an extra source of income. Because of the hard economic situation, people need to come where they are hearing hope, receiving hope every day. They need to come and be part of a community of like minds. And guess what? Despite the economic situation, people are becoming wealth connectors. People are becoming senior wealth connectors. People are becoming active kings, man. The same economic situation are using as an excuse 
as the reason why you are failing, that is what people are using as fuel. It depends on how nothing has a meaning except the meaning you give it. Nothing has meaning. See, the best time for network marketers is during the economic recession. That is the truth. Because that is when people are open. People who are skeptic, they are no longer skeptical. Or their skepticism is reducing. Somebody who was earning 500K and was feeling like a big boy, a big guy. 500K, what? With that 500K, he used to fill his tank twice a, twice a month at 40,000 naira. Filling his tank, he has 460K remaining. He's a big boy. He's a big guy. He's chilling. Right now, that tank he's filling, he now fills it at 45K, 45K, 90K. He no longer has 460,000. He now has 410K. And the price of food has increased. That guy is now willing to look at the business. It depends on how you look at it. Let me tell you something. If I agree with you, I will get your results. If you agree with me, you'll get my results. If I agree with you, I will get your results. If you agree with me, you'll get my results. It's the mindset, guys. Some of you can make the most money you've ever made in your life this period. If you do the activities, those around you must know that you are what? You are a professional. Those around you must know. People are paying for megavas. People are paying for gigavas. We are saying ambassador, the economy situation. People are paying for megavas. People are paying. Your brother just paid for megavas somewhere. You are there saying the economy is hard. Your colleague in school that you refuse to prospect because of the, that person just paid for technobas yesterday. You are here saying the economy is hard. Continue. You go explain that no evidence. <laughs> you go explain that no evidence. Of, okay. Oh. <laughs> Continue. People around you must know. When people spend time with you, they should know you are a networker. Somebody has spent about four months, three months, two months with you. Do they know the business you are doing? If they don't know, there's a problem. There's a problem. Those around you, do they know you are, do they know the business that you are doing? Are they aware of it? Whether they join you or not should not face you. I'm asking, what if they don't join? That's not the issue. That's not the issue. The issue is not whether they will join or not. The issue is just as a professional, show them, spread the good news of our business, especially in a time like this. Some will join, some will not join. You move on. Some will join, some will not. It doesn't see, see, eh? You know, you know, you know our problem most times, eh? We put ourselves under too much pressure. What do I mean? We believe that everybody who sees the business must join. This is where we are missing it. That's where we are missing it. So we are missing it. No, not everybody must join. I did not join immediately. Not everybody must join. I had different people that prospected me. Ambassador Mike was not the first to prospect me into joining this business. No. Other people have prospected me. You only just to show a lot of people so that the law of averages will work for you. Talk to 10, get one. Sometimes talk to 10, get two. Sometimes talk to 10, get three. Sometimes talk to 10, get four. To play the law of averages. That's all. What if he doesn't join? What if he joins? What if he doesn't join? What if he joins? And becomes a... Some of you, on your phone, this phone you are listening to this cell meeting from, eh? on that phone, you have a potential ambassador in that phone. You have a potential ambassador, ambassador. You have a potential ambassador, Michael Coley, on your phone. But because you don't want to prospect the person, you are scared. Because you're not a professional, the person will go and join my team, go and join somebody else. And you'll be saying, Where are the people? I don't know where they are. Are you showing people the business every day? I'm going to teach you exactly what you are going to say. Don't worry, I have your time this morning. I have your time. For like those of you that leave meeting at nine o'clock, don't leave all because I have a lot of things to discuss today. <laughs> You are not a manager. This one is a, is a subtopic on its own. You are not a manager. You are not a... This new dispensation will expose managers. So it's KPI. You put all this, the, the uh, full-timers in your team there and then others. I see the full-timers. You, there's no code there. Uh -uh. This week, no code. You submit your team had 15 codes, but you, on your own side, no code. Two weeks. After one month, I say, bros, you are not doing this business now. You are not doing the business. How come, how come you, no, you, have, you, you, you and your people, the people you are working with that are not full-time, there's no code produced. What happened? You are not a manager, please. You are not a, there's no manager in our business. 
Nobody is a managing director. Nobody is a CEO. We don't have CEO. We don't have managing. We don't have chief marketing. We don't have all those ones there. Everybody is an ind ind independent distributor. Independent networker, professional networker. Becoming a Kingsman is the barest minimum. Raising Kingsman is the next step. If you constantly manage people, you will grow cold and become irrelevant. You are not a manager. How do you know if you've been a manager? How do you know if you're a manager? I'm going to tell you how to know if you're a manager. So that you will not be, I'm not, I'm not, I might, I might, because we have managers and we have professional networkers. A manager is someone that is just pushing his team to do activities, but he himself is not doing personal activities. A manager is someone that is just pushing his team to do activities, but he himself, this month alone, I've already recruited four people. Four this month, me, small meal. And I'm still beating myself up that that is even really small because my goal is uh, 20 this month. I've only done for I'm like, hey, that's too small, low. Me, yo, small me. That I have a team of how many people? Thousands of people. I'm still recruiting. A manager is someone that is not pushing his team to do activities. He himself is not doing activities. That's a manager. A manager is pushing his team to produce codes. He himself is not producing codes. That's a manager. And if you're a manager, you, you, may, you may hide, you may make money, you may cover up. But if you're a manager, after a while, it will show. After a while, it will show. You become cold. You become irrelevant. You become irrelevant. As in people, people, you just become irrelevant. Go for, no, I don't want to become irrelevant. Oh. Hmm. Now, what do you say? Okay, ambassador. I mean, I'm a professional uh, network. I want to be. I want to be a professional ambassador. I've not been a professional right now. I want to be a professional. When I need people, what do I say? Who do I say I am? How do I define myself? Yes, you can be part time. Maybe you are working as an accountant somewhere, lawyer or whatever profession you're working in. You're a civil servant and all, but you're also a professional networker on the side. It's doable. So what do I say? You can let people know, oh, I work with an organization that helps people raise money for projects through the connected economy. That can be something you can say. I work with an organization. Okay, my name is, uh, let me say, I'm an accountant. My name is Ronke, I'm an accountant. But also, I'm a professional that works with an organization that helps people to raise money for projects through the connected economy. Really? What is it about? Tell me more. Ah, you have to be recommended. I'll see if I can recommend you to know more about it. That is the definition. I work with some people that help people to raise funds for projects and all that through the connected economy. That is one thing you can say. Second thing that you can say, if I let me let me itemize this so that we can see it clearly. I'll make let me number it one, two, three. Because I'm giving us three things that we can say. Let me number it one, two, three. Three ways to define what you do. Three ways to start a conversation. These are like conversation starters. To start a conversation about what you do. Do I understand that? So the first one. The second one. Oh, you can say you help people make an extra source of income so they stop depending on salaries or only one source of income. What I do if I meet you and you are a business person, I won't talk about salaries because you're, you're not collecting salary. I so what do you do? Oh, I'm a professional. I help people make extra sort of income so they don't depend on only one job or only one business. If someone that has a job, so they don't depend on the salaries for only one salary. Or so they don't depend on any one job. Depend on who the person is. Depending on who the person is. Do we understand that? Depend on who they are. You can use this as well. For some people, money is not their problem. Project money is not their problem. Extra income. We help people live healthy. We help people do what? Live healthy. Simple and short. Because some people, money is not their problem. People have different, uh, different areas of need. Please, I want us to just screenshot this. Let's quickly screenshot this. So you can have it on your phone. Screenshot this. So it depends on who you meet. Depends on who you meet. You can use any of these lines. 
I need flyer, which flyer, which flyer? Focus on what we're talking about, please. Are we done? I want to move, I want to move. Now I'm going to talk about, okay, before I do that, let, let me go back. So do we understand now, based on what I have taught this morning, based on what I've taught this morning, do we have clarity? Do we have clarity, please? I, I need to get your responses so I'm, I'm sure that you, you followed me. Do you have clarity on what and what and what you need to do to show that you are, you can't stay one whole month. You don't generate two codes personally. It's not acceptable. If it was acceptable before, it's not acceptable now. Ambassador Mike said, what took us to where we are, what, what brought us to where we are cannot take us to where we are going. What brought us to where we are cannot take us to where we are going. It's not possible. It's not possible. We have to do something different. We must, we cannot continue like these guys. We can't. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm happy that we're learning. I'm happy that we're learning. I'm happy that we're learning. Now, something exciting is happening. I have a couple of... Uh, Something exciting is happening. I'm going to share it. We have different, uh, this meeting is being recorded so you can go back and watch it over and over and over and over again, you know? You know, so you can go through it and read and understand and all that. Fantastic, awesome. All right, so 